This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Tottenham Hotspur. They take on Milan next on EA TV. Good evening, everyone. A city that has so much to offer in so many respects, but of course on the football front as well. Hello from the English capital, London. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Tottenham Hotspur facing Milan. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Pierre-Emile Hoybier plays with Rodrigo Bentancourt in the centre of midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack. Giroud! And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important can that prove to be? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Away they go again. Now can Spurs come up with an answer? Emerson. It's with Bentancourt. Hoybier. Oh, they have the ball once more. Throw in for Milan. Brahim. Benassa. Brahim Diaz now. Junior Messias. And an astute piece of defending. Junior Messias. Messias. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. It's there for him. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Shiro! Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, here it is again, and having got a touch on it, he'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't keep it out. It was a good effort, though. now and back underway Hyung Min Son Kane Tottenham couldn't maintain possession Teo Hernandez almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes Benasser. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Nice looking pass. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Well, he's lost it. 
Kane. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. The cross is on. Rip. Can he get one back? Terrific save. A oh, tremendous block. Taken short. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Can someone get on the end of this? A very effective clearance. Superbly read and executed. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, he's normally the ultimate team player, Kyung Min Son, but for whatever reason, it hasn't happened for him. Yeah, I've been really disappointed with him today, Derek. He just hasn't looked himself, but I think it's fair to say he hasn't had great service, has he? Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Kane defended well. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Oh, surely. And the challenge, crisp and clean. This might be ideal for the counter. Wasteful from Milan. Well, we're into the final half hour. A real struggle to contain him. Could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So away they go again. And you sense the momentum may well be with Spurs now. They need to get tighter. Spot on with that tackle. And Milan will get the throw in. And they're making a change. Diaz. Tonali with it. Top class defending. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, just listen to these Spurs fans. They're driving their team forward here. A chance to whip it in. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Benassa. We're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. The overall situation doesn't favour Spurs, but they're still in it. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Brahim. Well, 
Well, possibilities in the center. Giroud. And there it is, a penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And in it goes, as coolly as you like, never in any doubt from the spot. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Kulusevski. Visuma. Full time, and at the end of this first leg, it's Milan with the advantage. Well, it was a great performance, wasn't it? You could see the game plan from the first minute, and they executed it so well. Surely they'll be moving into the final with another display like that. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.